for the morning to you. This is WWJ Whipping with Joe. I thought I'd share this with you. I was cutting this, um, we call this uh, black eye peas, long beans we call them. We call them otong in Filipino. And uh, this came from a pot. And I use fish, you know, for uh, the fertilizer. And see how big the stock is. Extremely large. But I'm going to show how far this one went. I already cut it, but it starts from there. And I'm going to show you down there. I cut it up already, but I'm going to show you how long this thing is. I'm going to measure this guy. This is using fish as fertilizer. So it started from there. It went all the way around, and this is what we got so far. And I'm still cutting it. So this guy goes, goes from, from here. Went all the way across here, coming come from here. So we're cutting this thing here. We're gonna see how far it goes. Because <laughs> uh, I'm planting new ones. So we come piece by piece here. Actually what I do is when it when 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 it's growing, what I do is I I take uh, the growing part, like the shoots, and then I weave them. That's why I weave them, I'm weaving them, weaving them back and forth. <laughs> Uh, all the way around to there and it was supposed to go this way but this already end, end its life it's, this is about a year almost a year old and it's time to yeah, the root uh, this vine is too long mm -hmm. using a lot of uh, uh, vitamins from the ground here so we're gonna start the new so we've got the new one just planting down there and another one here uh, it's called black eyed peas. So we're gonna wrap this up. This is the longest root that I've uh, been able to produce here. But they're all around this big. They're really thick. You can see them, and, and they produce a lot of beans. And these are very healthy, healthy beans. Actually, more healthy than lima beans. Just to tell you. So I can make the small one, like the little bigger, make them a salad. And the old, older one you can cook with soup or make a peanut bit. <laughs> this is a Filipino dish, popular dish. So we're just cutting this guy piece by piece here. You know how long it is here. I'm gonna try to assemble it just to see how long it goes. Look at this guy here. Wow, that's a long guy right here. Uh, this can go all over here probably. The long guy here. Ah. And there's another one that went uh, from the ground up here going this way. So we're going to have to cut that one up here. So this is the last of the batch here. Look at the last of the uh, bearing fruit. There you go. All right. So we got this portion here. Now we're going to lay this down on the ground and see approximately how long it has been. And then the other one's going to pull it out, which is the one on the inside there. <laughs> okay, so we got this guy here, all right. So we're going to lay this down here, we're going to see how far this thing goes. And this was the beginning, of course. Uh, ending rather, but that's okay. We're just gonna go in Do this guy piece by piece here uh, well, I'll be probably cut it, make it longer Like so Like so, you can see this guy here This is just funny <laughs> Gardening, this is gardening So far this guy goes here See how far this guy goes. You know. uh, it's always bearing flowers, but that's okay. I think it's vine is too long. It takes too much vitamins to keep his vine producing fruit here. Way more, way more. But you can see me do this. Okay, check the guy out from there to here. 
So we're gonna see approximately how long this vine is. This is the longest vine I've ever produced. And uh, so let's see how far we're gonna go here. It's an approximation anyway. Okay, this is a 12 feet. Oh. Back again, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, so, sorry. Okay, so we got the, this is uh, this is 12 feet here. So it's 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. To 12, uh, 12, 19 feet, 19 feet of vine. Anyway, that's 19 feet of vine that produce a lot of veggies. Oh, more than that, bro. I'm sorry. 19, I'd say about 20 feet there. That's a, that's a beginning part. So that's a, I'd say about 20 feet. So from there to there, it's 20 feet. Of vine, Whew. a lot of them. So, so this is what I do. We've got new ones planting now. I took this off a couple of days ago. So we've got some new ones coming out of there. You can see the new ones coming out of here. A new one down there, and a new one down there. Man, they grow pretty fast, actually. And uh, so this is what I do. Like so when they grow up, I just put them in twine, back and forth. I just move them around. And uh, instead of coming all the way up to the top and just going on the top, you know, get beans coming from the bottom and all that. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. That's all my garden over there. And of course, there you see potato leaves there, which is the same on the other side. Use it for salad. I use this two ways. Uh, the small ones, you see the small ones, uh, which is literally bigger than these. They're literally bigger than these. Uh, I would use this to make salad. I would uh, branch them. And put them with paria, which is bitter melon. So this is the green onions here. This is a uh, watercress. Chinese watercress. And so these are the beans up here. So let me see. I can show you one where it's about ready to have. And this is all paria here. Paria, I cut them up, blanch them, and uh, I make salad. Like I said, that's a great salad. Okay. So here we got a bunch here growing. These are a little small yet, but when they get a little bigger. A little bigger than these, like I said, I'll cut them up in about two in size or three in size, branch them with uh, the bitter melon, and uh, we'll make salad out of it. And then you can add uh, your own condiments. I normally put patates in it, fish sauce with tomatoes and green onions. Yeah, so probably not a day. They grow real fast though, and uh, they'll be the salad. See if we got another, yes, and these are let's say this whole. This whole side is all paria, bitter melon, healthy food. Anyway, so you can get chicken paria with that thing. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we got the marungai tree there. That's that this guy here. It took me took me 15 years to plant a marungai tree. It had 15 different stumps and they all died, but this one here grew big. They had a crown flower tree here, and dug up that whole big crown flower tree. The crown flower tree was old. And uh, use that whole place, put a marunga branch like this inside a five gallon container, let it root, and then I put the five gallon container inside the, the hole that I dug, and then I had a Dremel and I cut the bottom piece off, and then uh, so the, the, the roots would grow. Anyway, so that's my marunga tree here. Like, look at all the stocks here, it's gonna produce a lot of food this year. We already got one right here. Look at that. When they're young like this, you can have them for salad. Blanch them too, same as uh, the, the beans. Anyway, uh, here we're trying to grow, I don't know what's the name of this thing here, but uh, I think they call it sayote, I think. This is the leaves, sayote. I've yet to produce one here. Oh, we got some, this is part out here. That one's we're gonna go seed, so we're gonna keep the seed. We're gonna, seed, we're gonna keep the seed for this guy here. And uh, so anyway, these leaves here, you can cut these leaves here and uh, like I said, you can blanch these and then make them with salad too, with put um, tomatoes and 
onions and green onions and or white or white orange. I have green onions, so I use green onions. So this one here, green onions and uh, tomatoes and patis would, would make a good salad too. But you gotta get used to it with the taste. That's for sure. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you this morning. <laughs> uh, it was raining this morning, so no uh, no fish session. But I go in. I probably go in later. Anyway. Again, this is WWJ whipping with Joe. Gardening time. Gardening time, man. We gotta put water in the fruit here in a few years. So we got some dry ones. Uh, we got a dry ones. I keep the dry ones here. Oh, I see a bean here. Let me check the bean. I keep, I keep the dry ones here, like so. Keep the dry ones here, like so, and you can plant these. I put. I normally put three in a branch. And they grow. Okay, now we got one here, fruit. We got one that's ready for the pickings. Okay, this one here. Okay, this one here. This one here can be used for uh, the salad. Uh, the bigger ones you can use for soup. And then we've got the lima beans. They call this patani. It's Filipino. This is otong. Otong here. This is the patani, which is lima beans. So basically, what you want to do is you can. If you're going to plant them, these seeds here, you want to soak them. You soak them in warm water for about one to four hours. Uh, you can do the same with this one guy here too. And then plant them. Uh, because these are, the, the shell is really hard. So if you make it damp, the, 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 the other skin gets uh, you know, soft and it grows faster. So anyway, then here's the green one. See, they all, they all the fence here. The vines get pretty big. So they start to see the one over here. We got another one that's spouting over there, and another one over there. This one's been here like a whole couple of years to pick this guy here. It's huge. But uh, this is uh, June, so these are going to flourish here. There's a few, they got a brand new branch coming out of there. So uh, it's good using for fence line, They're planting food anyway. So I thought I'd share that with you again. Again, WWG, whipping with Joe. Let me show, let me show you the seed of this guy here, sorry.